Right, here's a chance to test yourself on a question about the common practice of price discrimination in the market. But, advance warning, it's not an easy question. So the diagram shows the cost and revenue curves of a profit-maximising monopolist, but we're told they have zero fixed costs. And they're able to implement perfect price discrimination. So no fixed costs, and they can use perfect sometimes called first degree price discrimination. The question is which area measures the monopolist's profits? Press that pause button. You know the drill now. When you're ready, I'll come back with the right answer. Hopefully the two match. Okay, not an easy question, not easy at all. Uh, two things to think about here, no fixed cost, so therefore we could ignore the, the sort of fixed cost curve is the only thing about variable costs shown by marginal cost curve and the firm can practice perfect price discrimination what did you put for your answer the correct answer is r plus s minus t let's go through the reasoning for zero fixed costs so therefore the only we only have to consider the variable cost and that's shown by the marginal cost curve the firm can engage in perfect price discrimination. That means they're going to charge each individual consumer what they're willing and able to pay. So the equilibrium output will be where the marginal cost and the demand curve meets. Demand curve, of course, is the revenue from every single consumer. The total revenue will be the area underneath that demand curve, R plus S plus T. They'll get all that revenue. But... Profit, of course, is revenue minus cost. Cost, total cost, will be the area underneath the marginal cost curve. If you remember, the marginal cost curve is the change in total cost from each extra unit produced. So the area underneath the marginal cost curve is the total cost curve. So therefore, profit is revenue minus cost. R plus S minus T gives you the profit of this business.